Hello everyone, welcome to Moment of Restoration and I pray for you that as you listen to the word of God, the blessing of the word of God is going to abide in your house. Amen. Now today I'll be reading from the book of John chapter 14 verse 6. And Jesus said, I am the way. Amen. Let's stop there. Now, um, some times ago I had to travel to a place and um, I really didn't know how to get there. So I decided to use my Google Map app. The good thing about the Google Map app was that it led me to my destination, which is good. But during the course of the journey, it took me past some routes that really had some very bad routes. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, one thing I realized was that I didn't care what the road looks like. I trust the app and I knew that it was going to take me to my destination. Amen. So you, you know the Bible verse, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2, that says that when you go through the fire, I'll be with you. When you go through the flood, it shall not overflow you. So sometimes when you are following the way, you don't care what it takes you through. You only care about your destination. Praise the name of the Lord. So Jesus said, I am the way. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, every time you see a way, you know that it leads to a destination. And that is what Jesus Christ is trying to offer. Jesus Christ is saying, look, I am the way to the Father. I am the way to eternal life. I am the way to heaven. In fact, there are so many times that Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He said, I am the light of the world. I am the resurrection and the life. And now he's saying, I am the way. Now, for every believer, when you started this journey with Christ, a lot of us started stingy, we started poor, we started as victims, we started as sick, we started as malicious, we had anger issues, we were bitter, and we were sinful. But as we began to follow the way, we got to a point in the journey, and we looked back, and we said, look, I, I, I just found out that I'm no longer malicious. I, I just found out that I'm no longer stingy. I just found out that I am no longer living as a victim. Now I'm living as a victor. Praise the name of the Lord. That is what Jesus Christ does for every single one of us that decide to follow him as the way. Remember God says that I will show you the way in which you should walk. And Jesus said, look, I am the way that you should walk. Praise the name of the Lord. So every believer started this journey. You started as a victim, but in the course of the journey, you become a victor. You know, sometimes when you're following a road, you pass through so many beautiful cities. You pass through some cities that are not beautiful. You pass through good roads. You pass through bad roads. And so it depicts what our journey is going to be like. Sometimes we pass through the fire. Sometimes we pass through the flood. Sometimes we pass through the storm. But because we are following the way, we are not afraid because we know that this is the way that will take us to the destination we desire. Praise the name of the Lord. So every single believer that follows Jesus, you can start poor, but I tell you that in the course of your journey, prosperity is going to find you. Every single believer, you may start sick, but in the course of your journey, I can guarantee you that if you are walking with Christ, you're going to find healing. Every single believer, I tell you, you might start as a victim, but in the course of it, the journey, you will end up victorious. So it is more of when you follow Jesus, he's going to spice up your life. Praise the name of the Lord. So every single one of us that choose to walk with Christ, that, that is why you should bring as many people as you can to Christ. He's the way. He's not just the way to heaven. You know, sometimes when you say he's the way to eternal life, it might sound boring. But you've got to encourage people to begin to walk with Jesus. Because in the course of walking with Jesus, life becomes transformed. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is what every single one of us desire. We want to get transformation, positive transformation with our life. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So as you are going out this week, I want you to follow the way. Amen. I want you to follow Christ. I want you to trust him. I want you to believe him. You know, just like the Google map, 
we, we care about our destination. It's going to take us through some rounds. And sometimes we doubt, are you sure this is the way? But if you stick to it, it's going to take you to your destination. And Jesus gives you a better offer. He's going to give you eternal life. He's going to give you healing. He's going to give you wealth. He's going to give you health. Whatever you desire, He's going to give you restoration. And that is why this platform is very good for you because it is a moment of restoration. And so as you continue to listen to the Word of God, as you begin to follow Christ, God is going to send transformation your way. So this week, I want you to have that confidence. If you have not given your life to Christ, this is a platform for you to make that choice. Make Jesus your choice. Give your life to Christ. Confess Him as your Lord and Savior. And as you start working with Him, restoration is going to come your way. God bless you. Till we meet again, I'm Pastor Bankole Emmanuel from the Evangelical Church of Yahweh Mende, Maryland. God bless you. <laughs>